going the United Beat Packers. I'm Noah Harrington. I'm Mary Nee. I'm Jared McLeod. And I'm Hugh McCaskill. John McCullough has recently been hired by the United Beat Packers at the, as the assistant general manager at the Blue River Processing Plant located in Nebraska. During his first three months, he has realized that the plant is not meeting FDA standards and this is leaving the employees' well-being and safety as a, not a top priority. These factors have led John to the point where his physical and mental health are at risk and this is also starting to affect his family life as well. John has been left with the task of firing an employee, Bobby Vasquez, who has been injured on the job. He must come to a resolution that not only satisfies the company's needs, but his own as well, where he risks becoming unemployed. So United Beef Packers are owned by Holy Pure Foods Incorporated, and they operate across the, the Great Plains, including Nebraska, Texas, Colorado, Iowa, and Kansas. <coughs> Ken Hill founded the company in the late 1960s and was a great believer in communication, teamwork, as well as fair employee treatment. However, after the recession, um, things went downhill. Greg Kramer was hired as the plant's general manager for the Blue River Processing Plant. He was in charge of overseeing all operations, including uh, maintaining the 350 cattle per hour average. John McCullough was hired as the assistant general manager, and his responsibilities include more operational level, more operational based tasks, such as working directly with his four supervisors. And below those four supervisors, we have the chain workers who are responsible for sending the cattle down the slaughter line. So the current strategy. The United Beef Packers current strategy all revolves around efficiency. The lack of, however, their lack of employee focus environment and lack of workplace safety are also a big issue. UBP expects 175 to 400 cattle down the slaughter line per hour, and they compete with their competitors through high levels of production, input, and output. They have plenty of immigrant workers that, that remain expendable, so if a man or a woman were to be injured on the line, uh, they can be replaced within a day. This keeps the plants running at a high velocity and is the key to maintaining the highest level of income attainable. So the mission um, of this case is whether John should stay with the United Beef Packers where they, and fix the current situation by trying to find a new job. Um, if he stays, he'll be faced with a few obstacles though. He'll have to improve the workers' safety because they are screwed at all time, like daily. Uh, they have incredibly high turnover rates, so usually an employee would last about six months at this uh, factory. And workers' mental and physical health is also really troublesome too because uh, they're experiencing repetitive stress disorders 75 times more than the national average just at this plant. And to stay, he must also fire a party Vasquez. So for the current markets, it focuses on anything to do with containing handling while protecting and also delivering uh, the goods. So they were part of the big four um, meatpacking groups, but since they had decreasing popularity, they have uh, stepped down from that. Safety and sanitation in plants across America is not a top priority, and this means that the workers are continually getting injured as they need to continue to meet line speed requirements in order to meet the demand in the United States. There's been little change in per capita beef consumption, which is not creating new business through anything other than population growth. And as far as competition goes, the big four currently have a 75% market share alone. Key success factors. In order to be a successful firm in this industry, plants must produce high quality clean meat at a fast and efficient rate. All plants across the US are self-insured and the average processing time for the plants is 400 cattle per hour. At the Blue River Processing Plant, they are able to process 350 cattle per hour, which is just below the nation's average. For the SWOT analysis of the Blue River Processing Plant, the strengths are they have support from the American Meat Institute. They can process cattle quickly and effectively. OSHA must announce plant visits 48 hours in advance and the plant is self-insured. Weaknesses are meat packing is done the same way it was 100 years ago. Due to the size of cattle, automation is not possible. Safety and sanitation in the plants have declined in recent years. Opportunities include to unionize the workers or to get back to the big four meat producers in the US. The threats, 
beef consumption in the U.S. has had little growth over the last 12 years. There's a high turnover rate for employees with an average employee lasting six months. And the big four meat producers have a 75% market share, leaving a small share for the other competitors. Option number one. John resigns and reports back to the FDA. So the pros for this option are John can perform a voluntary exit, meaning he can leave on his own terms and avoid the, the potential outcome of legal action. John will also be relieved of the stress he is currently feeling with the situation of the employees and the workplace safety. And employee treatment, the, the employee treatment could improve overall. Cons for this option are he, this could take a while for the action to actually take place and John will end up losing his job. Option number two is that John reports the situation to higher management. This would allow him to get everything he's feeling in his head about the situation off his chest and put it to someone who actually cares about the situation. But it would be better for his mental health in the end and actions may be done to improve the situation. On the downside, higher management may not care at all and be well aware of what's going on. This could result in legal action and John could be fired because this could be potentially seen as subordination. For the third option, um, it's for him to fire Bobby and also maintain the status quo. So this is good because there is no action outside of what is expected of John, so he doesn't have to deal with the extra. It also is easier for management. Um, some of the cons though are is nothing is done to improve the feelings of the workers or John in this situation. Uh, the worker environment safety is also continuing to decline and John could also face a legal term. Option four would, is John proposes to unionize the workers. The pros of this is it creates a safer work environment for the employees, making the employee satisfaction increase. Union mem members will represent the employees, so all employees will have their voices heard, and John will get to keep his job. Cons include it's very time consuming to organize and go through with the union. It may not work, and the plan must pay higher wages to the employees. Also, John will have to fire Bobby back. The decision criteria for our first decision is the impact on company image, and we are ranking this from one to five. Our second is worker safety and satisfaction, and we are also ranking it from one to five. The effect on John's mental and physical health, and this will be ranked as negative, neutral, or positive, and the potential legal action, which will be ranked from yes or no. This is our evaluation matrix, and after we went through all the options carefully, we decided to go with John proposes to unionize workers for the fact that it ranks a five in company image, meaning that the company will have no public exposure of what's going on. It ranks a four in worker satisfaction and safety, so the workers will be more satisfied and safe working at their job. The impact on John's physical and mental health is positive because he feels good about what he did and the worker's safety is not his concern anymore. And Potential legal action, there's none because the plant will start working at a better, more effective rate. We recommended this option because once they are in a union, the employees will be able to access better workplace safety and they'll have higher wages and better benefits. This will all be assured to them from the union representatives who make sure their voice is heard and that everything is up to their standards. This will be a very time consuming process, but in the long term, it will end up being better for everybody. John will get to keep his job, and should the workplace not meet the standards of the union, they will be able to go on strike and take advantage of their power in numbers. So for the implementation plan, it starts with uh, John terminating Bobby. Uh, then he's going to gather the workers and propose his unionization idea. If the workers agree to this uh, proposal, then they'll present the idea to the board. So then they will build organizing committee, adopt an issue program, sign up the joining of the union types in a building winning election, uh, then they will negotiate a contract and then they join the union. So as you can see from this chart, uh, from the years 1975 to 1982, uh, employees in the meat industry were overall satisfied with their wages and their job environments, but at, as soon as the recession hit, and then unionized with them, the unions were disbanded. Um, the linear growth of the employee satisfaction uh, declined. So if John were to create a union, 
that the, uh, the evidence is that the um, employee satisfaction and overall wages would go back to the steady incline. These are the references we use for this analysis. Thank you. Thank you.